This video will demonstrate how to use the Modify Point tool under the Geometry tab. Under Point, we have Modify Points. I have three points in this design file. If I do an information on those points, you'll see that they were stored without any elevation or rotation. Let me select this point and invoke the Modify Point tool. There are three different modes I can use. Value, name terrain model, in which it will take the elevation from a terrain or from an alignment with a profile. I'm going to use the value first. I'll use the 1200 value. I'll accept that. Elevation, 1200. No rotation change. Data point to modify. And as soon as I accept that, now I see that the elevation has been changed to 1200. Let me select the next point, and I'm going to use the Modify Point tool. And this time, I'm going to use the Terrain model. I'm going to accept that, select the terrain. I'm going to select this terrain right here, accept that. No elevation offset. You can give it an offset from the elevation of that terrain. No rotation, and data point to accept and now it's been done and now we see that the elevation here has been set from the terrain model and is set to 1218. The last one is going to be this point and I'm going to hit the modify point again and this time I'm going to use it from an alignment and I'm going to accept that. I'm going to locate the alignment I can do an offset from that alignment elevation, maybe 10 feet. Accept that. I can give it a rotation or not. Accept that. And data point to modify. And now we see that the elevation has been set for that point. Similarly to modifying the elevation, I can modify the rotation or both. So if I select a point and I select modify point, I'm going to say the elevation mode to no change and I'm going to change the rotation. I can do absolute value relative to alignment. I can lock in the rotation at 90. Accept that. Data point to accept. And now we see that the rotation of that point has been set to 90. If I go grab another point and I say I want to rotate that, I'm going to use the uh, absolute value without the rotation lock and that I point that and now I see I can use my mouse to select the rotation of the point accept that and now I see the rotation has been set and the last one is relative to alignment I'm going to select the point I'm going to hit modify and I'm going to select that relative to alignment select the alignment, data point to accept, set the rotation, accept that, and that's how you modify the points. Thank you.